What is going on people of YouTube? My name is BKO and welcome back to a game week preview for game week 20. We have reached the halfway mark. For some reason all teams haven't played against each other, um, which is, I think it's off-putting. I don't like it, but will be, will be. Um, we are here, 19 games in, there's 19 games to go and the league title race is over. Boring really, but... Hey, move down to the championship and watch Sheffield Wednesday's meteoric rise. Yeah, anyway. Um, today we've got a preview. Hopefully, on the 24th, Christmas Eve, there'll be a video, FPL related, maybe differentials on Christmas Day. There'll be a very special video on Christmas Day. Potential to be, there's a week left in the year. Potential to be, I'd say, around 10 videos coming out. Um, that is if everything goes to plan. I'm not expecting it to, but that is the absolute max there will be. Minimum, there will be a preview for every game week. So there's some days where it ends on one day, starts on the next. I will try my hardest to get a game week preview out for that game week, but I can't guarantee anything. But that being said, let's have a look at the preview, starting off with the goalkeepers. And the four goalkeepers I've got for you today are Courtois, Loris, Czech and Lossel again. Um, Courtois comes in, Chelsea are at home to Brighton. Now, they've had a few poor results, the 0-0 against Everton in last game week. Really looking at it, they should have been picking up three points there. But this one, it's got to be a clean sheet again. Um, if anything, it could be a 0-0. I can't see Brighton going anywhere near scoring. So a clean sheet is inevitable. And I put heavy money on that, £25 at least. Um, you know, easy money. Easy, easy money, whatever the odds are. Um, you're gaining something because it's going to be a clean sheet. Um, so, quarter to our 5.5 is another good one. Larice says Tottenham face a home game in the early kickoff against Southampton on Boxing Day. Again, that should be a clean sheet. That should be um, a nice, tidy, clean sheet. Uh, we've also got Czech on there. Arsenal face off away against Crystal Palace on a Thursday night. Thursday of 28th, that is. Um, that's going to be a tough one. I do see Arsenal coming out for one or two goal. Um, victory at two and nothing. Uh, Vossel also coming in for Huddersfield. Uh, home against Stoke. Poor so um, Stoke side. Huddersfield team that are you know, improving and improving and getting good points and um, good wins. I can see Huddersfield nicking three points here with a two or three nil win. I don't see Stoke much of a threat at the moment. Next up we have our dream team. Now of course Fantasy Stoke is a massive part of this year's preview series where we go over onto their fantastic website where you can bet on Fantasy Premier League, do your dream team, your five aside, your star club, your star player. We are doing dream team and it's normal rules as FPL. Maximum of three players from club, captain gets double points and um, you know the more you bet the potentially more you win. Um, but we are looking at a, a team which I think can be really good. We've got Edison in goal, we've got Bellerin, Vertonghen and Alonso at the back. We've got Sterling, Arnautovic, Salah, Coutinho and Hazard in the midfield as I almost knocked my drink over with Morata. <laughs> Morata and Lukaku up front. Um, I've doubled up on Liverpool midfielders because I feel like Liverpool could have a chance to blow Swansea away. Um, uh, I'm talking six, seven goals that I've done to a couple of teams in Europa League. Uh, in the Champions League, sorry. Uh, risky choice in Arne Arnautovic in there. I do feel like maybe he's an FPL asset. You've got to wait because of the fact he's missing game week um, after this. Uh, but Arne Arnautovic, I believe, um, could be getting some goals or assists against Bournemouth here. Um, it could be a goal at least either side. Sterling as well, you've got to have Man City coverage. Not only, I've only got one Man City attacker because I do think Morata and Hazard could do bits against Brighton. Lukaku, he loves scoring against the weaker teams. I have a bad feeling now he's going to blank. And that the fact, I wasn't sure who to go over, Guerrero or Jesus, so I went with neither. I don't know who's going to start, but I think it's quite a solid team. Head over to Fantasy Tote, the link is in the description. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys there and we can battle it out. Moving on to the defenders, we've got Aspilicueta, Otamendi, Trippier, Gomez, Zanka, and Bellerin. Um, that's starting with Aspilicueta. I say him, um, knowing he's expensive, but knowing apart from the one um, time he had a uh, he had a day off for uh, where he didn't start the game earlier on this season, I do think he's a player that is impeccable 
um, at his fitness and I do think he's an integral part of the team and he's the least likely to get dropped maybe alongside Christiansen but I'm unsure really about Christiansen I think Gary Cahill could fit in there if need be uh, if anyone anyone can fit in there neatly if, if need be but Asper Quetta is a wonderful defender can fit out wide at the centre back um, could even play midfield maybe so I think he's um, definitely a player that I don't think it will be dropped for Chelsea. Fingers crossed he's in my team. Ottoman is another one. He picked up a bonus point in a 4-0 win despite not getting a goal or assist, which shows that he's very, very good um, FPL-wise. And um, he's rising in price, so I'd get on him very, very quick. Trippi has another one. Didn't play um, in the 3-0 win against Burnley, but Sir Aurier did. So I do feel like Trippier will be swapped back in for um, Aurier. So if you have got um, Trippier, don't transfer out hastily he'll probably play this game week if he doesn't um, and this will go for me as well I will then remove him with you but for now I'm keeping him because I do feel like he's going to be a good option this week where I could see Spurs get a clean sheet maybe some attacking returns for Trippier too Gomez another one Gomez or Alexander Arnold I do think Gomez will probably start in decent form at a 4.7 and I do think Liverpool get a little clean sheet against um, Swansea and Gomez. Hopefully he'll be playing um, because of rotation. You never know. Uh, Zanka's now got a 4.5. Zanka claws. Um, at Huddersfield, I don't think we'll get a clean sheet. A couple of goals. Maybe Zanka getting in the action. As he did a couple of game weeks ago. And Bellerin showed in Liverpool game why he's the most valuable um, defender. Um, out of the Arsenal side because he is the one that's going to go forward. He showed that even at four at the back, he's going to go forward, grab an assist, and I could see maybe at least one more assist in the Palace game too. Next, we move on to five a side where you just have five players to pick for this. You pick a featured fixture to bet on. I've gone Liverpool versus Swansea this week. The other two are Chelsea versus Brighton and Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. And you pick a maximum again of three players from each team. You've got five in total, so three from one, two from the other. You pick a captain as well, and um, you know gets double points. It's as easy as it sounds. I've gone with Fabianski in goal, Mawson in midfield, Mane and Coutinho in um, the midfield, and Firmino up front. I think it's a midfield for Mawson. I meant defence. Uh, Fabianski, because he'd make good saves. I feel like they could get about 10 saves and also concede quite a few. Hopefully that happens, because then he gets the most points. Um, but I don't think he could get dropped. Mawson's another one could, if it is a clean sheet, could get a couple of good bonus points there. So... He's definitely one to consider. I've not gone with Salah because I thought at least then one of them, either Salah in my first team, in my dream team, or this one, has to do well. Because one of them is going to drop Mane or Salah. I can just see it. Maybe not both, but one of them is. So hopefully one of them does well. Got a bit of risk there. And those front three, I think, for Liverpool um, could do bits anywhere. So, yeah, I do think I'm quite confident this week. Next, we move on to midfielders. We've got Sterling, Ozil, Pogba, Coutinho, Hazard, and Arnautovic. I'll get onto Arnautovic in a bit. Do not cut. He's sort of on his own, so leave him for now. Sterling, 8.7, is a fantastic looking player. I'm seeing Man City scoring a couple against Newcastle, so I don't see Newcastle winning. Could be a bit tougher for City, but I can see City scoring, and I think it will be through Sterling again. Ozil at 9.3 for Arsenal, uh, played a big part in the win against Liverpool, uh, the draw against Liverpool I should say, and I hope he'll play a big part in the win against Crystal Palace, and I do think he's finding some good form now in the lead up to Christmas. Pogba, 7.9, didn't get any goals or assists against Le Leicester, but before he went off, he had really, really good form. Manchester United have a good looking fixtures coming up, Pogba I think will thrive in them. Coutinho at 9.1, again, any Liverpool player could be good, but Coutinho came off early in the Arsenal game, which suggests he should have enough fitness to start again um, in Liverpool's game against Swansea. And if he does, <sighs> at least 20, I'm hoping for. Good week for him. Hazard at 10.9 is another one. I do think it's a maybe a slight risk, because Chelsea haven't scored many goals against teams that set up quite defensively. But Hazard, hopefully this week, from Morata back, can be more of the old hazard we know and love and I get a few good goals and assists there for everyone that owns him including myself and uh, I'm out of on his own simply because he misses the next game week after this one that's a double game week after that so I'd say if you've got him in your teams keep him then ditch him then bring him back that's my plan but yeah I'd say if you've not got him yet for game week not 21 but 22 he's a fantastic option 
Next, we've got Star Club and Star Player. And Star Club, I'm going for Huddersfield, bit of a risk. And the Star Player, I'm going for Mane. Mane came off um, for the Liverpool Arsenal game, so I do feel like he's going to be kept and ready for the Swansea game, so he's more likely to start. Although, having said that, um, Huddersfield are going to lose 7 0, and Mane's not going to come off the bench, so. Yeah, but those are my two picks for the other fantasy tote game modes. Go and bet using the link down below. But I'm quietly confident in both of them. Not 100% confident, but I think they could sneak in a cheeky little win. And lastly, we've got the attackers. We've got Lukaku, De Poitra, Firmino, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, and Morata Lukaku. It's an interesting one because, obviously, Tom Heaton's heroics last season meant it was a nil-nil um, you know, draw. Yeah, quite a familiar result, really. A draw at Old Trafford last season. Uh, but Lukaku, I feel like if anyone's going to score against Burnley, it will be that man at Lukaku. De Pratra, just, you know, people stating that he doesn't have too many shots. Stats don't look good, but he's scoring at the moment. He scored again in game week 19, and I think he'll score again in game week 20, so look out for him. I think I'm going to sneeze, so I do apologise if it jump cuts, weirdly. Um... Pre-warning for editing Kurt. Firmino at 8.8. Liverpool against Swansea. If Firmino starts, he gets tack and returns. Guarantee you that. Dominic Calvert-Lewin at 5.4. Everton have got a nice-looking run of fixtures. And with Rooney maybe not fit enough, but probably just want a couple of days off for Christmas. Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is an express bet. Regular starter under Big Sam. And looking good for attack and returns too. And cheap, might I add. And lastly, Morata. He is back. His price has dropped significantly. So if you haven't got him and want to get him, now it is the perfect chance. And that happens to be that for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of my suggestions? And what do you guys think I've left out? And will you be joining me on Fancy Totes? All that in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And I'll see you all next game week. So probably, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Because it's quite quick. It's a... Anyway, um, adios.